Hoy nos damos cita en Chelsea para conocer la propuesta de Pulse para el año 2013. Pulse es conocida por ser una atractiva y accesible feria dedicada exclusivamente al arte contemporáneo. También es parte del fenómeno de ferias satélites que pululan en torno a eventos de mayor envergadura. Lo vimos en torno al Armory Show y ahora lo estamos viendo con la llegada a la ciudad de la feria londinense Frizz. Te invito a que vengas conmigo para descubrir esta feria de la mano de su director, Cornel Dewitt. Vení conmigo. Hi, Cornel. Hi, how are, how are you? you? Thanks for coming. You're oh, welcome. thank you for receiving us. We want to ask you a little uh, about pools and to show the audience what are uh, what are we about to see. Uh, Pulse is a fair that takes place twice a year, in, uh, once in New York in the spring and once in Miami uh, in December. And we, uh, we bridge the gap between the smaller satellite fairs that have much younger artists and the large fairs like here in New York were uh, taking place alongside the Freeze Art Fair. How is uh, Pulse Projects this year? It's great. One thing that we have that's really exciting this year is we actually have three uh, ongoing performances that are going on non-stop throughout the course of the entire fair. Uh, one is a, uh, an artist by the name Tim Yao from California, and he is retyping uh, Henry Miller's Tropic of Capricorn uh, while reciting it. And then upstairs we have, um, we have two young artists that uh, performed for us last year, uh, Tara Lopez and Lisa Lozano and they have uh, installed a small vacation in a coat closet upstairs. And then we also have a, uh, an artist who is a creative capital grantee by the name of uh, Franco Mondini Ruiz, and he's from Texas, and he is, uh, is selling drawings that he's made uh, out of the booth there. That's so interesting, and now that we heard a lot, I would like to go and see what it's about. That Would you great. like to come with us and show me the highlights of the fair this year? Sure, let's take That's a look perfect. around. Let's go. Thank you. Uh, well, the artist uh, Tim Yude, he uh, purchases the same brand of typewriter that a, a writer, a great novel, was written on, and he retypes it and makes one art object, a beaten up page where the keys have just hit it and hit it and hit it. And then he makes a wall sculpture of the actual typewriter itself. So he, he fetishizes the objects of that create a masterpiece rather than the masterpiece itself. Mondini Ruiz and this is my booth called Spring Flings and Pretty Things and it consists of hundreds and hundreds of paintings that are done on a 140 pound fancy expensive paper. I follow the model of a Mexican bakery where you walk into a panaderia, a Mexican bakery, and you get your tray and your tongs and you can afford anything you want. And there, if you're poor or if you're rich or if you're a struggling student or if you're the richest person in town, you can get all you want. So these are my Pandulce pieces. This okay. is my, 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 my little desserts and pastries that there's something for everyone here. Tenemos el placer de presentar a la artista coreana Kim Il Sun quien está haciendo su performance en la Feria de Arte Pulse. She is a nationally recognized painter of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, lieutenant commander, devout citizen, hardworking farmer, mother of two, and most importantly, a human being. She will continue her artistic propaganda painting campaign until Koreans have reuni reunification where both North and South come together. Bueno, you market the 
fair, uh, people uh, speak about that it's an accessible fair. So that's because I can see it's a uh, friendly, it's approachable space. Exactly. But also, what about the young people that wants to that want to buy art? Right. Well, that's what's uh, that's what's really special about Pulse is that it has such diversity. And so you can come to Impulse or in many of the galleries in the uh, main section as well and uh, discover young artists that have never exhibited before, um, emerging artists. And then you can see them though in the context of more established artists who have, uh, have a more mature career and who have been working with galleries for a long time. that is unpolitical, is political <laughs> and correct, let's okay, say. All right. Which is your favorite piece or your favorite moment of the fair so far? I'm actually really enjoying the Tim Yaud uh, performance downstairs at yeah. uh, Coagula Curatorial. Um, it's, uh, he's just an interesting artist. This is the 100th anniversary of uh, Henry Miller's uh, birthday. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of celebration and a lot of things going on in the city right now to celebrate uh, his centenary. So that's probably my favorite Sorry. piece right now. Perfect. But it'll probably change. Uh, well, <laughs> Later on this afternoon, it'll be something different. <laughs> that's the richness of the fair. Like exactly. every day you find something different. Of course. Thank you so much for your time. Like we my enjoy pleasure. a lot your explanation and you showing us. Termino el día de la feria acercándome al catering diseñado especialmente para Pulse y los invito a que vean los otros videos sobre la cobertura de la feria y si no hicieron la tarea todavía tienen que suscribirse a mi canal Cosmo Arte TV. Hasta la próxima semana. Chau chau.